My name is Jeff Stevenson. I'm at Kansas State University and our topic today is to talk about timed insemination programs. In the dairy industry today in the United States or North America, more than 80% of the cows are inseminated using hormones based on a fixed time schedule. The most common fixed time insemination program is called OVSYNC, as illustrated in the bottom portion of the slide. That's a 10-day program that begins with an injection of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GnRH, followed in seven days with prostaglandin, which will cause the regression of a corpus luteum, and typically cows could come into estrus after that injection of prostaglandin. But we will prevent estrus by giving a second dose of GnRH about 56 hours after prostaglandin, and then inseminate the cows approximately 16 hours later. When we do that, that places semen in the body of the uterus about 12 hours before we expect ovulation to occur. If you think about OVSYNC relative to what happens to cows that are spontaneously in estrus, that second dose of GnRH would be comparable to when a cow would stand in estrus spontaneously. And so the timing of insemination based off of a spontaneous estrus is approximately 28 hours. But when we give that second dose of GnRH, we can cause ovulation in about 28 to 32 hours, comparable to what we see when cows spontaneously come into estrus. The way this program works in the industry, I'll give you two examples. First of all, for cows that are inseminated the very first time after calving, between about 50 and 80 days in milk, many herds will use pre-synchronization programs that are shown in the slide, which basically synchronize the estrous cycle of cows so that they are approximately day five to day eight of an estrous cycle when the off-sync program is administered, day zero being the day of estrus. The second way that the off-sync program is used is for cows that are identified not pregnant or open at a pregnancy diagnosis. So if the veterinarian diagnosed the cow open on a Monday, we would simply begin the off-sync program on Monday and be able to ensure that all open cows were re-inseminated in 10 days. In all cases, as in this slide, the injections should be given in the morning, with the exception of that second GnRH injection, part of the off-sync protocol, that would be given in the afternoon, approximately 56 hours after prostaglandin. Accurate timing of insemination is very important to capitalize on using U.S. genetics in your farm and your ranch. For more information about this topic, you can contact USLGE or my contact information is found on the screen.